Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, thank you so much for your continued love and support that you continue to get this channel. I am here to do your uh, Scorpio full moon readings. I will tell you from the very beginning, this will not be a full reading. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get through it. Okay, let's just see. This energy really is uh, taking me out a little bit. So I have been, I've been working all day to get my energy right to do these full moon readings. Um, and Scorpio, you all know that Scorpio is a very intense energy. It's a very intense energy and it's a very emotional energy. And so me being an empath, I feel everything. And then don't forget right now we got three planets that are stationary of uh, preparing to go into retrograde, which is Pluto, um, Pluto, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so we got a lot, a lot of energy that is uh, at this time um, being penetrated, or the Earth is penetrating. It's uh, the energy is penetrating the Earth, and so uh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> but just a little bit about this reading, you can. Um, Apply it to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, we got cards flipping out already. Don't forget that somebody's about, about a daughter. Something's about a daughter, okay? The answer to your question involves your daughter. So whoever's already looking at this and you're questioning something about a daughter, it's already coming out. Um, don't forget the messages can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could very well relate to your partner. Uh, we are slating this this message for again the full moon, which is in Scorpio on May seventh at six thirty p.m. Um, this energy will this this uh, full moon will be in Scorpio. Okay, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot five five five. Don't forget that we do the Lotus Love Show every Monday through Thursday, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, wow, we got cards flipping out already. Set your sights higher. Okay, so increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So whoever these messages are for, it's already coming out. Don't forget we do the private readings. Um, and don't forget that uh, we have a Patreon now. Ooh, join the Patreon. We do a lot of good things over there on our Patreon. All right, you guys, I think I have hit everything. So don't forget, once again, about this full moon in Scorpio. Um, a lot of secrets will be opening up, um, especially in regards to the wealthy leadership government because of Jupiter um, going in retrograde, Pluto going in retrograde, and Venus going in retrograde, and Mercury is going back to its sign, which is Gemini. So there's going to be a lot of talking going on, a lot of communication going on but with that Scorpio full moon. Um, a lot of deep, hidden situations, emotions, things, secrets that you've tucked away, they will surface, okay? Because Scorpio requires and demands that. It demands that things that are hidden come to life, okay? Um, it's a very, very intense emotional sign, like I said before. And so it's going to dig for the truth. And it's going to not stop until it finds out its answers, okay? So for those who have been betrayed or what have you, this could be coming out during this time as well. All right. Okay, my loves, I think our chef was ready. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, my loves, let's get right into your reading. And once again... I can't stress this enough. This is a mini reading. Please, you guys, don't put anything um, mean on my channel as comments, okay? This is a mini reading. I am just doing this so you can know where you need to hone your energy in as you set your intentions, okay? Um, my energy really is not up, as I stated in the introduction, but it was so important to me that I got these out for you, okay? So this is really a mini reading. All right, you guys. But I definitely want you guys to be on point and um, set your intentions because we all need to be moving forward for a better life, right? And I know that knowledge is definitely power. 
All right, so here we go. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe with messages needed for four for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7th, 2020. With messages needed for four for the sign of Virgo. With messages, okay. Spirit, divine, creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? Okay. Oh, ooh, I don't know, was this many cards? Okay, it was only two. Okay, Virgos. Y'all are getting some messages through. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth with the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7, 2020. Wow. Okay. Spirit, divine, creator, the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7th, 2020. Okay, wow. Ooh, y'all really got some messages to have gotten through here. All right, let's just get right into it. Ooh, oh, deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, let's just see where this is going. A new dawn, the worst is now behind you, a, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. All right, so this could be like the Ten of Wands card or the Ten of Swords, that this is it, you know, this is it. Uh, now that you have experienced, or if you have not experienced this yet, Okay, the deception, the deception could be there. You may not know about it yet, or you may know about it, have experienced it, and now you're turning your life around for the better. You have experienced that Ten of Wands, that Ten of Swords experience. Now we're moving to a one. We're starting over again, okay? Some of you could, in reference to friendships, make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. This could be definitely you just needing to just relax. Okay, just really just, you know, just having fun with, fun with your friends. And so it may be important as you're setting your intentions to build something in like that. Um, accept heaven's help. Wow. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Um, this could be, you know, you all simply just praying for newness of mind, a clarity of mind, because deception can hurt. Okay, deception can definitely hurt. And uh, especially, you know, when you're blindsided by it. So, you know, always starting new is a good thing. And really having the spirit to really want to start new. You have empowerment here. You're more powerful than you realize. And it's safe for you to be powerful. So walk in your power. You know, if you've heard about the deception already, walk in your power. Don't allow it to, to bring you down. Yeah, because it's going to be a favorable outcome. Because spirit says you're guarded and protected. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, it may hurt. Yes, I do not want to. I don't don't want to. I don't want to uh, try to jump over the fact that deception hurts because it does hurt. Okay. Dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. So some of you really need to be focusing right now on what you're eating, how you're eating. If you're working out, make that a part. The physical activity is so important because it does help clear your mind out. And this is this is very important right now, especially if you're starting new. If you're just click, trying to clean the slate and just start your life new, um, especially after a breakup or hearing about deception, because it can hurt. This is a time to just, you don't know what, 
I'm starting new. I'm going to work out. I'm going to be the best me that I can be. And that's what needs to happen. Okay, year from now. So once you put these things in place, you know, your life is really going to probably change. Uh, probably a, a whole 180 degree. Um, you'll probably see a 180 degree change in your life. Meditation brings answers. This goes right with that, except heaven's help. When you meditate, this is you listening to your intuition. Okay, this is you listening to your intuition and allowing spirit to talk to you. Give you the answers. Give you direction of what you need to do. Not you praying. This is you listening. So definitely get some meditation in there. Spirit says no. So the route that you were trying to go to handle this, the route that you were trying to go to come out of uh, this space that you're in when you've heard about this person being deceptive, or you may hear, don't go that route. Go the route the Spirit is giving you through meditation, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. But definitely don't allow this deception to take you under because you're better than that, right? Stay focused. Stay focused, my loves. Stay focused. Until next time. Bye-bye.